I mean, Vargas is here to win. You know, he's not falling into all the Broner media kind of hype. He, he, he's here thinking he's going to win this fight. So I think the main event's going to be sensational. In, in Charlo and Centennial, you've got two punchers. Charlo might be the biggest puncher in the whole middleweight division. You know, so we're well, gonna, he certainly wasn't 154, anyway. Well, I mean, he had a huge punch at 154. We're going to see how he carries it to 160. But he's just a big man. He and his brother are big dudes. You know, big 54-pounder, big 60-pounder. They're big dudes, and they're talented dudes. And they take no prisoners. You know, the, the one thing about, you know, the Charlos is they, they throw those short punches with a lot of accuracy and power. They're very, very dangerous guys in the ring. Centeno's got the whole package he can fight. Um, he showed already that his chin can be checked. Um, so I, I don't expect either way. I think that fight's going, not going the distance. But it's a terrific card. You know, Davis, Cuellar's no joke. Cuellar could fight. Is he going to take his power up to 30? How's he going to look at 30? Has he been struggling to make 26? He may be stronger at 30. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see the Gervonta fight. Obviously, Gervonta is a favorite, but but I think it's a it's a it's a fight. Um, the whole card's interesting, and the undercard's loaded, loaded. So you know, I'm, I'm expecting a really good show, and um, and you know what? Like you know, I'm, don't worry about it. like we got everything under under control. Like, this is this week has been very um, civilized, and so the promotion is, and and this building is going to be security is going to be great. And we're not going to have any issues. I'd be remiss if I had you here to ask about the, the big fight that's been moving over the entire fight world and the statement that Eddie heard me. Nothing's this week moving today. anywhere, man. Cut the shit. Well, I'm not, we, we I'm not even it, wasting. Though. Yeah, of course, so do I, more than anyone. And so does Deontay. I'm wasting my time talking bullshit. When they're ready to make a deal and they want it, you're not going to see it on Twitter. The motherfucker going out on Twitter and the Twitter war shit, that's not because of fights in the mix. When, when the fight's about to happen, you're not going to know it. You know what I mean? When people are really negotiating, you're not going to know it. No, I don't no, want to talk that. about it. The motherfucker should pay attention to the fact he's got a fight in Brooklyn next week and maybe work on selling some tickets like we did for this one. How, how are their tickets doing? How are their ticket sales doing? I know. Well, theirs? I don't know. Ask them. Uh, that ain't my problem. Uh, I mean, Danny, look, I love Danny. He's a good friend of mine. He's a good kid and he's a good fighter. Um, I don't know how they're doing. I know how we're doing. And you're going to go into that arena tomorrow night and it's going to be rocking and rolling. This place is going to be on fire. So, I don't Lou, know how they're doing. Lou, do you think they, they were that? waiting for a counter or they didn't get one? Is that bullshit? Dude, I got work to do. I'm promoting an event tomorrow night. What the fuck? It, it wasn't a negotiation. Sending out some something and say, okay, here's our offer, and you have 10 days to respond. That's not the beginning of a negotiation. That's bullshit. And 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 honestly, like, I don't want to even talk about it. I got a big fight card on Showtime Saturday night at the Barclays Center, and we got crazy amounts of tickets being sold. The, the room's going to be rocking and rolling. That's where my focus is right now. When, when everybody wants to make a fight, a fight will happen. That's how all it works. And, and by the way, everybody else, all this bullshit is you guys wasting your own time and my time too. And, and if Eddie's serious about making a deal, he's going to make a deal. People don't make a deal by making, sending emails to one another. You make a deal when you say, hey, we want the fight now. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's look at all the terms and let's do something that's fair for everybody. And, and I ain't gonna negotiate through you guys. I'm not, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not, I mean, I'm not even willing to respond to that fool anymore. Let him do his thing, let him worry about his life, I'll worry about mine, man. Lou, so do you think the fight should marinate, or do you, if it was you, it happens right now, in 2018? You know, there's a problem, look, look, it's not like everyone's been waiting five or six or seven years, so like, you know, I'm, I'm, should the fight, here's the problem with marination, okay? Guys are heavyweights, other people hit them. I mean, you know, Joshua was supposed to walk through Parker. Didn't exactly do that. You know, Deontay, Deontay looked sensational against Ortiz, and he knocked him out in a sensational fashion. He also got badly hurt in that fight. You know, with too much marination, and what you're marinating never gets cooked. Now, let me ask, but, you, about, let me ask you about your other favorite promoter. I don't even want to twit. Who? Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> oh, man, please. <laughs> what? What happened? What? <laughs> Please, man. Like, please. Let, let, whatever. Let, let, you know, I, I wish nothing but Oscar for the personally, but the best, and that he gets his life in order. That's my wish for Oscar De La Hoya. I wish him good luck personally, and I wish him, uh, you know, a, 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 a lack of drama and a lack of. I, I wish him a lack of, of problems and a, and a healthy, happy life. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna fuck about Oscar De La Hoya. So what's the next for Dante? Should. Should uh, AJ not have? I mean, what's the short term? Deontay said, we're not chasing anyone around. It's not our job to be chasing anybody. I mean, there are two guys out there, and everyone knows this division's dominated by two guys AJ and Deontay Wilder. 
okay? They'll fight when they fight. If they don't, if they can't be made now because one side doesn't want to make a fight, we're going to move on with our lives. Deontay's going to fight, and he's going to, he just fought the best available guy out there. That's going to be the game plan, to keep fighting the best fights you can fight, to keep making the best fights you can make. Steven had a lot to do with that Ortiz fight. He wanted the best fight we could make. We didn't run away from it. You know, this is another card. This is a great card. You know, the, the, what you got to do is you got to move on. You can't control other people. You can only control your own, yourself, and your, your fighters, your side of the table. And you do the best you can do to give the people what they want to see. You know, and, and that's all you can do. So I can't control any other promoter, any other fighter, or their dance card, or their game card. We made it very clear. Our dance card was available, and, and we're, we'd be available to fight. Okay, I don't really look at what what was sent over by by the guy in England to have been a good faith situation or opening of a negotiation. It was a grandstanding publicity kind of thing. And okay, man, he, he's doing his thing. Let him do his thing. I don't even want to respond to it. Lou, Lou speaking you know, of substance, uh, rumor is floating about that Wilder maybe is in talks with next fight Brazil. True or false? Hey, what's happening? I mean, you know, like, I don't think anyone's in, 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 in talks on anything right now. We're going to, like, we're going to go, we're going to play through this situation. Uh, the other guy's going to be in, in, in the States and in New York next week. I'm sure there'll be contact of some type. You know, we're going to we're gonna respond to what was sent us in writing at some point. But, but like, you know, I mean, right, right now, Deontay's not, Deontay's got Wilder is going to defend his title again soon, Okay. Um, but right now, nothing's cast in stone. No nego quote unquote big negotiations are occurring. When there's something to announce, it'll be announced. What's your change with uh, Tyson Fury back in the mix? Does anything change with him back in the mix? I mean, the guy's a good fighter, man, and, and he didn't not, not like he lost in the ring. I mean, if he's if if he conquers his own issues and his own problems, he's one of the, be the be three best heavyweights in the world. And and honestly, he handled uh, arguably he handled Klitschko easier than AJ did. So, I mean, is he a factor if he's healthy and he's in the ring and he wins the fight? Of course he's a factor. I mean, to be honest with you, he's an incredible self-promoter. And Deontay, between Deontay and him, and if they're barking at each other and going at it for six months, you don't think that's a big fight? The world doesn't just revolve around AJ and Eddie Hearn. And by the way, Eddie, like, he should swallow, eat a little humble pie. No one gives a fuck about him the way no one really gives a fuck about me. We're promoters, man. We're not fighters. I'm not getting into the ring. I'm not fighting AJ. Do you think anyone gives a shit if he's promoting AJ in the fight or who's promoting Deontay or who's doing the business or the deal? People want to see the fight. This industry is about the fighters, not the promoters. So take yourself off fucking social media a little bit, motherfucker, and like wow. act like a human being. Lou, what's your, Lou, if, what's in your perfect world, who do you want Jamal to face next out of all these great fighters at middleweight? It's going to be a man, you, you know, you can't make, like, make those calls. Like, look at what's happening and playing in the division. You know, I mean, like, you, 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 you have, you got guys sitting around with mandatories, you got guys with interim titles, you got Canelo on a six-month drug suspension. You know, I mean, you, you can't prognosticate the future. Again, all you could do is keep, keep being dedicated to the fact you're going to make the best fights you can make. What's and your, honestly, I sorry, think if you're going to look at what's going on in the marketplace right now, you got to slap you know, Steven Espinosa Showtime on the back. You gotta Absolutely. slap PVC and Heyman on the back. And I don't give a fuck if you slap me on the back or not. I do my job and I promote, man, and I put people in this building. All right. and, I, and I'm not slapping myself on the back. I'm just saying I'm a promoter, that's what I do. But like, you know, the, the, what you, all you could do right now is take what's in your control and make the best fights you can make. That's it. Do you, what's do you think any of those real weights, big fights Lou, are Lou, possible? Speaking They're of all possible, but, but, but right now, who knows, with Canelo playing around with Golovkin, I mean, that, that's going to, like, you know, it, we, we got, it remains to be seen. Could Jacobs happen? Who, a lot of like, things could happen. Right. But do you think they, like, oh, realistic? I don't know, man. Do you, like, the, realistically, this, you, you figure this motherfucking business out, are you kidding me? Can you ever figure out what makes, does, does what goes on in boxing often, is it what makes the most sense? No. Not always, man. You know, so like, don't ask me to fucking predict, because I can't. Lou, Lou. pivoting to right here and right now, yeah. did, were you able to make sense of Mr. Broner yesterday and really went going at Leonard Ellerbee? It was, it was pretty harsh. Uh, your thoughts on it? Was that off the rails? Was that AB being AB? I mean, that was a lot of that was AB being AB. I mean, that's a lot of it, man. And you know what? There's a lot of people, like, a lot of people sniping at a lot of people in this business all the time, including people who sniping at people what they work with. I mean, it ha it's all the time. It's not anything surprising. And the other thing about AB being AB is, is 
you know, as much as I shake my head a lot of time or bite my lips sitting on a, a dais or whatever, I mean, the motherfucker is an entertainer and, and, and people eat it up. And, and, you know, if he wasn't, he knows what he gets a response on. He knows where to push buttons to get a response. He loves making people react to him, whether it's with love or it's not. I mean, he understands how to market and sell himself. Now he's got to win. Right. See, now he's got to win because he's got the star power and he's got the ability to attract the, the crowds and attract the people and get people to care about him. This room's going to have all these people in it because there are a lot of people that care about him. And there are also a lot of people that care about Javante and Charlo also, but, but really, Broner is, look, look at his social media following, look at the stuff he gets himself into and the way he knows how to get a lot of attention, whether it's for positive reasons or not. You have to give the guy props at understanding how to command attention, okay? But at some point, you got to win the big fight. Do you think it's fair? And now he's got to win the big fight. He's got to get in there Saturday night, and he's got to win, because if he doesn't win, all this other stuff's not going to keep him at the top without him winning. Do you think it's fair when they say he's he's becoming this era, Zab Judah, like, talent to be on the pound for pound, but when he gets to fights the top guys, he comes up short? I mean, there's no questioning he has immense talent. Um, there's no questioning that. There's also no questioning that that in a lot of the biggest fights he hasn't come through. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I want to see. I, actually, I am curious. Like, I'm not buying into any uh, like you know propaganda or whatever. I just know Kevin Cunningham, and I know who he is. I know that AB, if AB had a camp with Cunningham and he made it through that camp, it, had he messed around in that camp, he wouldn't be in that camp. So I know you're going to see. Whatever the clowning yesterday, and the dancing, and the music, and the headphones, or whatever, if you have any doubts you're going to see the guy in shape, I, I don't doubt it. I, I think he's going to be in shape. I, your, I think you're your, going to see the best of him. I just think you're going to see the best of Vargas, too. And you're going to see a younger dude who throws a lot of punches, who's got nothing to lose. It's all upside for, for Jesse Vargas, you know? What's your, um, oh, you know, so it, it, I'm really looking forward to the main event. I think it's going to be a good fight. What's your take? What's your take? Darov Yanchenko, <laughs> any update on him and the they IBF? Have, the last I, I spoke to the IBF, that Golovkin had not even applied for the exception. So I don't know. You know, right now it seems to me that it's heading in a certain direction, but he hasn't even applied for the exception. The other thing is. I mean, we're not, you know, people don't seem to understand this. We're not trying to keep him from walking into the ring May 5th without the IBF belt. It's not our agenda. But our agenda is the following. A motherfucker eats tainted beef when he knows he's not supposed to, gets suspended. If you think I believe he ate a whole cow, then you're really also crazy. And he gets suspended, and the guy that's sitting there and has to feed his family is somehow supposed to wait another six months for a guy who's on suspension? That's preposterous. So what point as do you is say the whole way this industry, as is the whole way this head. industry treats PED abuses and failed drug tests. It seems like there are all these rules, but then everyone's so quick to to like let people off the hook. If he wants to walk in the ring May 5th with the belt, that's cool. Then he tell us that on May 7th. The negotiation period starts for Derevchenko, but you know that's not going to happen because they already announced September 15th. So I don't care whether they strip him before or they strip him after. Derevchenko is entitled to fight for a belt next, and I'm not talking about on May 5th. They already made it clear they never made us an offer for May 5th. They didn't want the, the cost-benefit analysis was too rough for them. They didn't want to run the risk of a Derevchenko with a very low license fee sitting there from HBO, they made it very clear they didn't want the risk. But the whole reason there's a mandatory challenger, and in a case where he's a real legit guy, is so that guy's not screwed out of his chance, and he too could pay his family's you know, living expenses, he can support his kids and his wife, that's why a mandatory's there. I got no hard feelings on Triple G, and in fact, if they came to us and they said, we're gonna vacate the belt the day after, but just let, give us the exception for May 5th, we don't care about May 5th. I care about what happens after May 5th. And right now, they are not, they have no intention to fight that mandatory. They're going to stay in that Canelo sphere, even though they're sitting out and waiting a guy's suspension. Like, we're supposed to walk away because some clown got suspended? Uh-uh. What's your take, what's your take on Jarrell Miller and Deontay Wilder's beef? 
That's all bullshit, dude. Man, I mean, like, whatever. I don't pay attention to this shit. Everyone, you know, everyone's a Twitter warrior. Everyone's a, an Instagram warrior. Everyone's out there shitting on each other. I got a real life to live, man. I don't give a fuck about that stuff. Has the IBF, uh, have they talked to you that they are going to go ahead and strip? Them? The IBF, you have to give the IBF credit for one thing. They have a set of rules, and they follow them. The IBF got in trouble many years ago when the federal government came in and infiltrated the IBF. They had to declare bankruptcy and they were under federal receivership. There's a reason that they abide by their own rules. A lot of these other organizations, they change their rules every five minutes. They got this drug testing. Hey, Can Canelo was the mandatory. The, the BC ordered Canelo to fight the rematch with Golovkin. Meanwhile, Canelo's never been enless, enrolled in the clean boxing program. Okay, explain that. Explain that, though. But explain it. Explain it. He was made a mandatory. They they ordered a fight, and he had never signed up the paperwork for the clean boxing program. You know. And by the way, guys don't get guys don't go from like looking like one thing, and then six months later, their head's bigger, their whole shoulder body size. Oh, you can jump in on this. Come on. They're, 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 every, you, you don't fucking like magically become the fucking Hulk. Doesn't work that way. He was in shape at 54. Well, hard already. work. Canelo. And, 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 and you're gonna, one punch knockouts. Right. And you're going to tell me, by the way, you're going to tell me that the pictures of him now look like the pictures of him at 54? No. But people, I'm just devil's advocate. They would say that happens when you put on 10 pounds. Okay, of devil's muscle. advocate. You yeah. think a multi-millionaire in Mexico's eating tainted beef? His family owns taco shops, so. You think a multi-millionaire no, in Mexico's believe him, eating tainted saying. wheat? Beef. You know <laughs> that in other sports, you're told you can, don't eat the beef in Mexico. Yeah. You're gonna, so other sports, they don't give a shit if you say, oh, well, I was in Mexico when I ate the beef. Well, then you shouldn't have. Suspension. Okay? He shouldn't have. And by the way, I doubt he did. That's my own personal opinion. I doubt he did. I doubt that a guy worth $50 million is, is, is eating beef off his taco stand. Sorry. And by the way, he was in Guadalajara at the time, not where his family was with their taco stands. In terms back to the IBF question, did they inform you they're going to strip Golovkin? They have a set of rules. They issued rulings. And it's out there. You talk to the, to the IBF. All I'm asking for is that the IBF abide by their own rules. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. So it would, it would mean strip because he's not going with the mandatory. Well, it, well I, I, I just said this to you. If he wants to walk in the ring May 5th, no one gives it. No one cares. But my guy's entitled to the next fight. Yeah. He already got. The BC ordered Canelo Golovkin won. Not anybody's fault that Canelo blew his drug test. Now, May 5th, he could have fought Derevchenko. He has good reasons. I don't blame him. Hey, by the way, clarify something. I ain't mad at Triple G. I ain't even mad at Tom Laughlin. They didn't do anything. They're victims here, too. The other guy's the motherfucker that blew the drug test. Not, not, not Triple G, not Tom Laughlin. They're looking out for the interests of their own fighters. And I also don't blame a guy mentally, maybe. He's prepared to make a gazillion dollars. And now all of a sudden, hey, fight this cat who could also beat you and make one-tenth of the money. I don't blame him for not wanting to do that, but you can't have it both ways. Derevchenko's entitled to eat too. So if you want to you wanna go on and fight this Vanis fight on May 5th, okay. On May 6th or 7th, you're supposed to start talking to Derevchenko. If you're not going to do that because you want the big, big bucks cause, and, and you're waving out the other guy who blew a drug test, then just say, okay, let me walk in the ring with the title May 5th. I'm going to vacate later because I'm going to take the money. But don't sit there and expect that I'm going to hurt Derevchenko or let his family get hurt or, or let them skirt the rules because some motherfucker failed a drug test. Not happening. Thank you, Will. Thanks, Thanks,